Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock. And we're back with more Grand Theft Auto V Online. Just hanging out in the back of my yacht here. In the back of my helicopter. Yeah. So, I decided, yeah, we're going to buy a Cargo Bob after all. It's on sale till February 13th, so might as well buy it. And if you're watching this outside of that time, well, you know, it's still a good deal. It's still well worth it. It's a fun helicopter. A useful helicopter. Yeah. And uh, the sales uh, for the Cargo Bob and the offices and the uh, the uh, Buzzard helicopter, which is all on right now until February 13th, they all kind of come and go, though, for those ones. So hopefully they'll come and go some more. Don't know what Rockstar will have in store, but I imagine they'll do some more sales on those in the future. All right, so let's go into the web here. thought we'd do it a different way today, so we'll do it from the back of our helicopter. Uh, let's see. So we go to Travel and Transport, and then we go to Warstock, Cash and Carry. All right. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to get. Okay, so here's the Cargo Bobs. Okay. This one's on sale, so we're going to get this one here, the Cargo Bob. And personally, between the two choices, I'd prefer uh, camouflage to no camouflage anyway. But yeah, that's the Cargo Bob Jet Sam. And to anybody who's curious, they are tested to be the exact same helicopter. So no performance differences whatsoever, as far as I know. Okay, it's just simply a look. And they give you a different look for these ones. It's kind of more of a Coast Guard kind of look. Yeah, but I kind of prefer this one, and it happens to be on sale. Even better. All right, and they also have the trade of them on sale. It's tempting to get that because that's also in your CEO menu that you can spawn instantly for free if you own it. Unfortunately, the Cargo Bob is not, but you can always get them pretty easily by calling Pegasus, and most of the air bases are around most corners, especially when you get the hang of how to pick them up or the order of where to pick them up from. Yeah, and there's the buzzard. Hopefully I'll do a buzzard video soon too. I really should get around to that. But yeah, that is definitely worth it. Probably, I think, the most uh, valuable purchase in the game. All in all, the most useful purchase in the game, the buzzard attack helicopter. It's useful for a lot of different things. Plus, it's almost built into the uh, CEO program. Okay, so today we are getting the Cargo Bob, though. Part of Finance Felony Update. It holds 10 people, which is excellent. So 10 people can fit in this, more than your company. <laughs> All right, it is the flying bus you've always dreamed of. The Cargo Bob is a twin engine, tandem rotor, tactical transport helicopter that you'll recognize from the melodramatic airlift scene of every war movie ever made. And it's not just surprisingly ugly, it's surprisingly fast too, depending on how many pounds of cocaine or prisoners of war you have in the back. <laughs> yeah, twin engine, twin rotor. All right. So, 1.3 million on sale for. Normally it's uh, almost 1.8, so it's normally 1,790,000. Alright, so save you a little bit of money this time. Yeah. Buy it now. There we go. Your cargo bubble available from Pegasus shortly. Awesome. Awesome. So I've been thinking about Cargo Bob since the beginning. It's a lot of fun. You know, you don't need one, I don't think. And you can usually find them around the map if you're patient enough to wait for them to spawn. You know, and you know the spots and you keep going around them. But uh, it's nice having one on hand. So I always kind of meant to get one eventually. So might as well get it while it's on sale, right? So let's pop out of here. And we'll get out of the back here. And we'll take a flight over. I wonder. Hmm. Available shortly. What do they mean by shortly? How shortly? It's been a while since I've ordered something from Warstock for the Pegasus deliveries. Do you think it's been shortly enough? <laughs> Let's find out. Hello, you're ready. through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Cargo Bob. All Great. Right. The aircraft bucks. is waiting for you at all. our nearest airfield. We trust you'll be happy, sir. All right. In this game, $200 is like change. It's not much at all. It's almost pennies, comparatively speaking. You can get that very easily, $200. Okay, so hopefully, if it spawns correctly, it should be sitting right here waiting for us. Cargo Bob. Where are you? There it is. Spearing. So it shows you on your map that it's there, but it actually doesn't appear there until it uh, until you arrive. I guess that's how it can manage multiple people spawning their vehicles all at the same time. 
is that uh, it actually isn't actually there until you're there. Now, why I mention that is that sometimes it messes it up. Sometimes you show up and it's not actually there. It's it's in the way of other things or whatnot. Oh, I should hop back in. Your new cargo bob is now confirmed in your vehicle storage. Uh, thanks. Right. Thank you. <laughs> so here it is. Yeah. So this is the cargo bob. And now we have our own. So the back used to open here, as far as I know. But I don't think it does anymore. Or maybe I'm confusing it with the Titan, but I'm pretty sure these backs used to open too and do on some missions. It's too bad they don't. Yeah. But you can fit ten people, so you and a co-pilot, which co-pilot, as far as I know, doesn't really have any function in this particular vehicle. And then eight people in the back, which is really cool. Yeah. And it's uh, considered by some people, most people, I, I don't know for sure myself, but it's considered by most people to be the toughest helicopter in the game. Just a little side note on it. And I would say they can definitely take a beating. Yeah. Now, a lot of people may not notice because they're, you know, they, they, they may not realize it because um, compared to other vehicles, they're slower sometimes, so they can... It's not that slow, but it is slow compared to others, and uh, it gets shot at a lot, and, you know, some people might not realize how tough it is, comparatively speaking, if you put them side by side and shot them up. They can take quite a beating. Also depends on where the damage is coming from, what kind of damage, how quickly the helicopter goes down. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, all right. Cool. So, for anybody who doesn't know what the Cargo Bob does, aside from cost you over a million dollars to own one, it's a fairly easy helicopter to fly, very stable. It's not exactly small, but it fits in uh, more places than people think. Now you can press on your control pad and it gets to the right, and there comes that hook. And that's the, the awesome thing about this vehicle. So there's our little hearse down there. So let's see if we can get it here. Sometimes you gotta practice to get the hang of it. There we go. And it can pick up vehicles. Awesome. So you can fly around and torment civilians <laughs> or other players. Try to pick them up while they're moving. I've done it before. It's very difficult um, at first. You gotta watch out for road signs and stuff. But I've I've swooped in and picked up people before, and I'm gonna practice that some more now that we own one. <laughs> But I thought I'd show you guys the quick little buying of it and uh, what a Cargo Bob is for those that don't know. And the fact that they're on sale, along with the buzzard, until uh, Monday, the 13th. Sometimes with, with uh, Rockstar sales, they can be, uh, you can get lucky and they can be on until late at night. So maybe if it's late night Tuesday, you might even be lucky enough to get it. But I wouldn't take your chances if you really want it. Yeah, it's possible they might have some Valentine's Day uh, content coming out, so they might have that out early on the 14th. It's hard to say if they're going to give us something new or this last year's stuff or nothing, but uh, you would imagine that at the very least they'd be giving us last year's stuff. Yeah. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that. I've been waiting a long time to get a cargo bot. Wasn't exactly part of my current plans, but like I said, the sale's on now and I'm not charged Rockstar sales, so might as well save the money while I can, right? So you can use this to take, uh, like I said, harass people, but you can also use it to pick up your vehicles, take them with you if you want to, put them on top of uh, buildings like this, or on top of, uh, uh, okay, all right, on top of uh, mountains perhaps, or things like that. Maybe you want to do some different kinds of screenshots, you know, that uh, that are harder to do. You know, it makes me think of a lot of car commercials, <laughs> you know, where you see that truck in the middle of some weird spot up on a mountain or a cliff or a building top or something. Well, you'd be able to do that now. Here we are, we up here with our vehicle. And if you've seen some of those screenshots in the past and you wondered how they got there, well, that's probably how they did it. With a cargo bob like that. Sweet. Nice helicopter. Yeah. All right. It's windy up here. <laughs> yeah. So you can also use that for, you know, um, uh, bringing your friends along, all kinds of role-play stuff, I imagine, but you can also, you know, carry insurgents with it and all kinds of things and have your friends in there and drop them into battle and all kinds of stuff, yeah. Like I said, as well as taking your vehicle with you, which is kind of handy. You know, sometimes you don't always want to count on Johnny on the spot. Johnny on the spot doesn't always work everywhere, you know, and, and the, not everything can be spawned in the CEO menu. And not, maybe you're not always in the CEO. Maybe you're in your biker club. Maybe you're not in anything. So, uh, you know, it's kind of nice having one of these around. And things like the mountain, as far as I know, you, they're always a little troublesome getting things to spawn there. So if you wanted to play around up there for whatever reasons, you know, Cargo Bob's really handy for that stuff. 
All right. Now, uh, on top of that, I should say that uh, the new, uh, the newer DLC, the car import export stuff, yeah, for CEOs, we're going to be using that for this too. Yeah. So, uh, the idea being, you'd pick up uh, the stolen cars and bring them to your warehouse, and uh, and selling cars, you'd bring them to the sell location. So we'll we'll check it out. I'm not really sure. Maybe maybe if you guys know already, you can let me know in the comments. But I'm not really sure if it's any better. You know, now that we've gotten it pretty good for the car selling, and we've been able to do some of them in our previous episodes with no damage, as, as you guys can look at if you want to, um, I'm not really sure this really gives us any advantage or, or any faster. But it's always nice to have other ways of doing it. Plus, it's an awesome toy. Yeah, that's the main reason I'm buying it. It's an awesome toy. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a like. If you're new, uh, please subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, like all new subscribers. Yeah, it helps us out. And it's free. All right. So let's see. I think I'm going to take this off the building. It's a nice finish. Never have been, been off here in a long time now. Which way is not a good way? Not a good way. Uh, 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 we could go to the helicopter if need be, but I, I think we can make do. Maybe that way. We'll try that way. Of course, I'd pick a way that I have to move the helicopter after I said I wouldn't. <laughs> it's all right. That's all right. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm really happy with that. So, I'm, like I said, I'm going to do some car warehouse stuff with that. And uh, maybe I'll show you guys how it works out. And if I think it's a, a better way of doing the stuff or not. Or just a, simply another way of doing it. Probably should have used a faster vehicle. <laughs> Ooh, but I haven't had my uh, hearse out in a little while. Hold on back there. <laughs> Can we do it? Yep. There's a shock test. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to give it that horn. <laughs> Sounds like a little distorted. I think it took a little damage. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. So that's the Cargo Bob. I'd recommend getting them. They're uh, awesomely fun vehicles for awesome things like that. You know, um, if you're if you're really being money conscientious, you don't need one, and you can find them on the map. But uh, if you can afford it, they're uh, they're on sale right now, and uh, they're they're kind of a cool vehicle. All right. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye bye. See you again soon. Yeah. All right.